Well, half second week back of training uh, in the new year. How have the players returned and how are they training? I returned really well, uh, professional in their output. Um, so we're just starting to move into competitive training, scenario type uh, training, uh, more specific to game plan and also um, being more accountable for each other opposed to pre-Christmas just having outnumbered drills. So we're starting to find out a lot more about the players, particularly in trying conditions. What are you learning about the playing group, uh, sort of being new to this playing group? Obviously, January's a tough month um, with the training, but also the conditions as well. Me personally, I'm about to find out a lot more about the players uh, individually and when they start playing on each other and, and how competitive they are and what sort of football smarts they bring to um, the table and really find out a lot more about um, the way they think through the game and the way they uh, actually play the game. So for me personally, I've, I've got a lot to learn over the next two or three months about players. How do you see the midfield group uh, sort of gelling together and coming together? Well, once again, we start to get into an area where we can train a lot more together. Players can be a lot more familiar with roles and um, an understanding of what's required in the midfield. There'll be some subtle changes that'll be made from the way we played last year, so um, they have to get their head around that. And naturally, as we know with midfielders, they have to be able to carry the load, the fitness and strength load of uh, the demanding part of the game. So, uh, you know, a very experienced group. I would imagine we've got 12 to 14 players that have to fit into you know, a six-man midfield that uh, needs to rotate through the forward line. So that, that's all part of the jigsaw puzzle moving forward. So um, once again, we're going we're gonna to find out. You know, a guy like Cooney sort of adds a different dimension to the midfield. So as I said, um, it'll be a very interesting um, part of training and, and uh, who finishes up in the midfield in that first game. That competition for spots must be a nice problem for you to have. Well, it is, but as we know, midfield, quite often um, clubs have got two coaches in that area. It's very well defined now, very well developed. So um, you need them. Uh, otherwise, clubs will find you out um, as the game wears on with a evolving midfielder. So we've certainly got the experience, but we have to have the smarts and the understanding of working for each other and how that all works. Beautiful um, halves. Thanks for your time. No worries. Thanks, Tom.